Hi, so in this video we're going to start putting numbers into formulas in order to work out an answer. So we're going to cover um, generally the application of something called bid mass which I'm going to write a little bit in the comments section or the uh, description section below the video or if you're on mathsrap.co.uk then there's an explanation on there as well. So the question that's being given to us is um, round about level C, level D at GCSE and generally speaking it will give you a formula which would look something like this. So we've got A equals, I'm going to have to copy from my notes, but 3 t squared minus b c. Okay, so it looks a fairly complicated formula. Then to make it just a little bit worse, what they've done is given us the values of uh, t, b and c and they want us to work out the value of a for this particular formula. So the value of t that's been given is um, minus 5. The value of B is 3 and the value of C equals um, 6. All right. So the bit of, a, of an issue that we've got here is this negative sign here because it's always, generally speaking, a little bit more difficult to deal with negative numbers. But hopefully it'll work out OK within this particular formula. Now the, uh, the process I'm going to use is something called bid mass. Uh, some people know it as bod mass, but bid mass is like this. Okay, and it's basically the order in which you do things. Um, so the first thing that you do in any equation is to deal with the brackets. Well, we haven't got any brackets here, so that's okay. Um, the second thing that we deal with is uh, the index or the order. Some people call it the order. Okay, um, and basically it means this squared sign on this formula or the power of a particular term. So it might be t cubed or t to the power of 6 or something like that. Um, the next bit that we deal with is division and multiplication. Okay, now the way I've written it, um, I think is quite important. The way I've written bid mass, some people have it written where it's straight along as... Um, I'll just write it there, something like bid mass. Okay, and that's okay to help you remember, but the thing to remember about it is division and multiplication in formulas is always done together, and addition and subtraction is done together. So it kind of makes sense, uh, for me at least, to write it that way around, because if you write it this way around, um, it implies that you do division before multiplication, and generally you don't. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed these numbers into this formula, but I'm going to make use of brackets to make the formula a little bit easier to understand. Okay, so at the moment I have 3 times t squared. Well, if we look at our bid mass formula, the bit I need to deal with first is the index or orders before I deal with the multiplication of 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the 3 to one side and I'm going to use a bracket just because it makes my life a little bit easier and it reminds me that I'm going to do the work in brackets first. So I have t squared. Well t is a value of minus 5. So I'm going to put minus 5 squared in brackets there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put minus and then I've got a value of b which is 3 and a value of c which is 6. So that's okay and again just to remind myself I'm going to put it in brackets and keep it to one side. So I've got 3 times 6. Okay. Now the most important thing with this particular equation has to be to, to deal with bid mass in its order. So I've got minus 5 squared, so I'm going to do that first. So I've got 3. Now minus 5 squared is the same as saying minus 5 times minus 5. So I'll just write it down here. So I've got minus 5 um, squared, and that's exactly the same as saying minus 5 times 
minus 5. Okay, uh, one of the things that you need to be aware of is that when you multiply a minus number by a minus number, then it becomes a positive number. Um, and there are some posts on mathsrap.co.uk that will talk about how to multiply um, positive and negative numbers. So a negative number times a negative number is a positive number, so it will be a value of 25, because 5 times 5 is 25. So I can now feed that back into my equation, and I've got 25 here. Then I've got my minus sign, and I'm just going to deal with what's in the brackets, which is 3 times 6, which is 18. OK, so it allowed me now to solve the equation, because the next little bit I have to do is the multiplication, because division and multiplication is done together. So the only multiplication I've got in this particular um, um, formula is 3 times 25. So 3 times 25 is 75. Now that's great because I've dealt with the brackets, not a problem. And then I've got in here 18. So the value of A is going to be 7 minus 18. 75 minus 18. So I'm just going to do that calculation at the bottom here. 75 take away 18. Uh, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. Um, I, I do it my way, but again, if you look at MathsRap, you'll see a few posts on how to take away from columns. So we've got, uh, I'm going to make that 15, so it's 15 take away 8 is 7, remainder 1, so 5. So the answer to this particular formula, A will equal 57, when t equals minus 5, b equals 3, and c equals 6. OK, so the things to remember is that you need to make sure that you use bid mass or bod mass. Make sure that you deal with the minus numbers. And also, it's also very useful to work down the page as well and show your values of a down the page. I um, hope that's OK. If you go to mathsrap.co.uk, uh, there is this video and you also can download some uh, quick tests uh, to have a go for yourself. Uh, please do post or pin or tweet this video. Um, if you like it as well, please add a comment just below. Uh, it would be much appreciated and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.